Hi, I'm Kevin Passaro with Oberwerk Binoculars, and today we're going to talk about the Oberwerk Multi Reticle Finder, which is a simple sighting device that we use with the binocular to quickly get on target. It has a window here, and it projects a reticle pattern on that window. And if we turn it on, we can look through it, and I can see my reticle pattern. It looks like it's floating way out, pretty far away. And the reticle pattern is selectable from the back, we've got a simple dot, a dot with a circle, a plus sign, and then a combination of the plus sign and the circle. So the dial has a number of settings on it. Uh, R stands for red, and the R position means off, but then there's numbers after it, one through five, which are progressive levels of brightness. And then we come to G, which again is off, and then one through five, which is progressive levels of brightness uh, for the green color. So if we need to change the battery, it lives in the dial. The top comes off, we just unscrew it. And then the, get the battery out. It's a, it's a common um, CR2032 battery available anywhere. Just put that in there, screw the top back on, and we'll be ready to go. And then we're gonna, on the, on the um, BT100 XLED, all of the XL series binoculars, the finder attaches to this handle. And then we tighten these screws. The Allen wrench is included with the finder. These screws don't have to be super tight, just snug is all we need, like that. If you've purchased the finder with the binocular, it's pre-aligned, ready to go. So if you purchase the finder separately, not with the binocular, you might have to align it yourself, but it's very simple to do. So what we're gonna do uh, in this case, I'm gonna start with the binocular looking at the traffic light, something, something out in the distance that you can easily see through here. So I've got it lined up with the traffic light. Now I'm gonna look through the finder and see where is the reticle in relation to the traffic light. And I can see it's up a little bit. So up down, there is an Allen screw right here. It's the same, this is the same wrench we used to install the finder. And we can just turn this to move the reticle up and down so it's lined up with the traffic light. If it is, um, if we need to go left, right, that screw is right here. So pretty simple. Now one thing that's um, not intuitive, uh, when you're tightening this screw, the reticle moves to the left. If you loosen the screw, it doesn't move. You have to manually twist the finder. So if I need the reticle to go to the right to line up with that traffic light, I'm gonna loosen the screw a good bit and manually twist the finder. And now, the, now it's to the right, and now I'm gonna come back and tighten this until it's moving to the left, until I'm right on the traffic light. And now that I've done that, I shouldn't have to do that again. I can take it on and off and it should maintain its alignment. So I'm just looking down the street. There's a traffic light down the street and I'm standing behind looking through the eyepieces and I see my reticle pattern out there floating in space. I'm gonna line up the binocular right there. And now when I look through the eyepieces, there's the traffic light right in the middle of the uh, field of view. Always remember when you're done using the finder, to put the dial back in either the R or the G position so your battery doesn't run down. And that's it. Thanks for watching.